Hello, my name's Holly Gosnell. I'm a virtual production technical artist. Welcome to this tutorial for creating action bindings for a gamepad's buttons to control your Dragonfly virtual camera. In this video, we will set up an action binding to a gamepad button to toggle recording from your Dragonfly virtual camera. If you have not yet set up axis bindings to gamepad joysticks for Dragonfly virtual camera movement, please refer to that tutorial first. To use the buttons and triggers of the Xbox controller, we need to set up action bindings. So if we go back to the bindings window, we would select new action binding. I'm going to call this new action binding right trigger and I'm going to click bind and press my Xbox controller right trigger. Now that we have this bound to the trigger, we need to create the function that it's going to call. And we do this using Unreal's blueprints. Unreal Engine's blueprint visual scripting system is very powerful and flexible. As a node-based system, it allows creatives access to concepts and tools generally only available to programmers. Dragonfly comes with its own set of blueprint nodes, so you can create blueprint functions and bind them to controller buttons. The video examples contain a small selection of some of the more common functions you may require. But with Dragonfly's extensive API and Unreal Engine's full blueprint functionality, there are many more actions that can be created. So now I'm going to go down into my Assets and Blueprints folder and create a new folder called Dragonfly Bindings. Within this folder, right click and select Blueprints and Blueprint Function Library. And I'm going to call this BPFL for Blueprint Function Library. Dragonfly Functions. Opening this blueprint, this section here will list any new functions that we create. We can add a new function by using this plus function button. I'm going to rename this default blank function recording. Moving into the main window here, if we right click in this area, we're given a list of all nodes available to us. Going down to the Dragonfly section and into recording, we see this list of nodes and right at the bottom, the start Dragonfly recording and stop Dragonfly recording. We're going to use both of these. Worth noting here is that if you already know the name of the node you want to use, it is much quicker to type it into the search bar at the top of the list. Also, going back to the node list, Within the recording section for Dragonfly, there is a node called is Dragonfly recording. We're going to use this as a condition for which the action start or stop will be performed. To put these nodes together, we need a flow control node. So right clicking, and going down to Utilities, Flow Control, and we're going to use a branch for this. So we directly connect up the branch and the Is Dragonfly Recording condition we connect here. We have to ask if Dragonfly is recording if that is true, we want the recording process to stop. Is Dragonfly recording? If that is a false statement, 
we want it to start recording. I'm just going to organize these a bit better. And then we can compile, save, and close this blueprint. Now we need to return to our joystick bindings window and for our right trigger action binding, the function we want to use is from a blueprint library. The target library is the one we just created and the function within that is recording. Now we can minimize this window and go back into our Dragonfly viewport with our virtual camera. We can see that when I use the right trigger, recording starts. And when I press it again, recording stops. So that's working.